Oh! 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 So oh! good! Oh! How do they do that? It's called a gooch. The wall. Oh! 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 oh. oh. <laughs> so, okay, so Geet, how did he not break his tailbone in that shot? Hi, welcome back to Stuntmen React. Today we're here with Guy Da Silva. Now, uh, Guy has worked on a couple different projects. If you happen to be active on the subreddit, you may have seen the My Hero Academia short that he did with Chris Cohen. That was you? Yeah, that yeah. was me. That was you? I'm the guy. <laughs> Outside of that amazing video, he's also happened to be in things like, I don't know, Black Panther, Captain America Civil War. He was Leonardo for Michael Bay's Ninja Turtles. If I got to be a Transformer, my five-year-old self would be really happy. Uh, you mainly specialize in fight scenes, right? Yes, I'm a big fight guy, grew up doing martial arts. That's the stuff that really like hits my soul. Awesome. All right, well, let's jump in. Jackie Chan, gotta take the fast way now. Uh, Got yeah. the fanny pack, he's ready for this. We're not day. taking <laughs> stairs because, you know, the Italian people are fighting. Oh, uh, that's so sick. So slick. Implying that in real life, he could actually get out of his like hotel room that way, his Airbnb. Right? <laughs> oh! Uh. Oh! It, it, it looks like he lands on his butt and bounces. Right? And he does so, bounce. He, he does, does bounce. bounce. Dude, oh, how would you not man. break but everything? How, how, <laughs> so, okay, so Geet, how did he not break his tailbone in that shot? So it's, a, it's, it's like a 10, 15 foot drop. Dude. Yeah. He uses his feet. He lets his feet take the... His feet hit first, but how do you not break your ankles then, dude? He's not trying to stick the landing. That's... He's just using it to get enough momentum off of his ass. That's a magic trick. And he hopped over the rail, too. I'm Look sure. how high that was, dude. You know he's in pain. Oh, my God. From standing on my feet to going down like that <laughs> hurts. would hurt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> See, this would, like, forever change how I operate in the rest of my life. Like, I'd be walking with a cane for the rest of my <laughs> life. And for these guys, it's a, a, literally a throwaway joke in the beginning right? of the entire movie. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah. this is the opening. No big deal. But you'll be okay. You'll get in there. Dude, this is one of my favorite fight scenes of all time. Dude, that move is so cool. Can't the even frog kick off. Is this like is my favorite part. Move, right? Boom. Oh, so much style. One, two, three, I know. Dude, my favorite is the double kick. Yes. Pop, pop. Mm. Uh, Come on. Take it off. Oh, <laughs> so I love how they hold it. They hold the shot, too. Yeah, they stay. Pow. Oh, he just goes down, dude. He's just like a freaking, <laughs> like a whack-a-mole. Bam. <laughs> Here it comes. The big spin yes. hook. Uh, uh, come oh on, Jenny, gosh. heavy. <laughs> oh! Uh, Put out those candles, man. Happy birthday! <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Whoa! Oh! oh, oh that so hurts bad. so bad, man. These guys are so fast. That puts you out. For you think sure. they're undercranking the footage a little bit? Oh, definitely. So undercranking, for those of you who've not heard the term before, most films play back at 24 frames per second, but if you record it at 22 frames per second and play it back at 24, it moves slightly faster. Oh, this is it. This is it. Yep. Huh? Huh? Hoop, pow, boom! Oh, oh, ow, ow. He, I like the fact that he gets hurt. Yeah. It's okay to get hurt, and they, they play with that, and they make the comedy of that. But I like that this fight isn't like super clean, and that both of them have some sloppiness. Yeah, right? Yeah. Ooh, so this is full contact right here, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. When he comes in, we got, boom! Oh. Oh. He's wearing, you see, you see, the, you oh, see the, the, the pads? Yeah, he's yeah. wearing a hogu, taekwondo mm. guard. It's fun because you can see it. Yeah. You enjoy it, you appreciate it so much more when you can see it. Yeah. I feel like with a movie, you're, you're supposed to be capturing an image, a special yes. image, you know? And like, if you're gonna show a fight scene, capture the fight scene. If you're not gonna show the fight scene, like, or it's not about, like, if there's not a fight scene, then don't worry about it. But like, if you're gonna put a fight scene in your movie, Stunt you need double. to show it. It's just the camera moves are perfect in Jackie's movies. Man. Yeah. Like, the way they follow the action left, right, left, right, left, right. Biggest thing is time. How much time are you willing to spend on your action? Do you have the patience or not? Those kind of scenes. When you see it in two minutes or one second, if, oh, Jackie, good. It's not good. You can do it. This is kind of like <laughs> a homage to Bruce versus Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris yeah. You know, Bruce has to f loosen up and start playing to his rhythm and, and change the rhythm of the fight in order for it to work for him. Oh, look at that man look at that chest. Lawn. Get the lawnmower out. <laughs> Oh, and on the back though, shoulder the hair, hairs. Yo. So much testosterone. This is so cool watching him just warm up. Right, and now he's all glistening I'm and like sweaty. In a trance. <laughs> oh, I love that. Oh, oh no! 
Chuck, this hurts. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't get off my chest. <laughs> it doesn't come off his hand. <laughs> <laughs> ah, look, the point, the, the, the foot, the chamber. We just saw, we just saw Jackie do that. So it turns out that all those sounds that they make Bruce seem like he's making aren't him. That's really? somebody else's dub over him. Are you serious? Yeah, he doesn't do whoa, da, da. He doesn't do that. Really? No. He'll make like yells and, and, and screams and stuff, but it never sounded like that. It always sounded goofy. Right? Actually, no, he, he uses sound to displace people. So like you can faint somebody out with not just movement, but with the sound. So like going like, ha, ah, with your jab, and they go, ha. Ah. They react thinking that the jab is coming because uh. of the sound, and now you have an opening. I never thought about using audio cues to throw somebody off in your swings. Because I know that your, uh, your reactions are faster to sound than they are to your sight. Yep. So that, that was his play, but then they added the whoa, whoa. You gonna try bounce now? Oh, look at you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, he's and dumb. that's when you completely get somebody in your rhythm. And once you have them in your rhythm, you start playing them like a nice little instrument. He's like, don't go for it. Don't do it. I'll kill you. Ah! And break. And here's the remorse. <laughs> the consequences of war. You could have taught Taekwondo at a strip mall somewhere in the Midwest. We, we we come such a long way in fight scenes and movies now. This seems almost just a little slow, not very spectacular. It's very paced out. He wanted to really give the feel of what a real fight is really like. Happen. It's a game of chess. A real fight is about 10 minutes long. You guys size each other up, you're looking at it, you're like, we about to do this? Y'all both like, yeah, we're about to do this. Bah, 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 bah. There's that quick moment of, of beautiful chaos and then boom, we separate and it's like, okay, that didn't work, this worked, let me try, now let me come back in. If you can find a way to tell that story of that fight like that, it, it's so fun to actually really see that. I mean, those make the best fight scenes when there's an actual story. Right? For how, I guess, not modern the pacing of the fight scene is, the storytelling in this fight scene is very modern. Yes. In fact, it's better than most modern exactly. fight scenes. Exactly. I've teleported all the way over here to my desk to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Raycon. They have a very special 15% off discount code for you guys. More at the end of this video. Let's go to the next scene. Dude, I love this approach. Yeah. <laughs> Just straight, come at me, bro. But Kenlo got the kicks. Oh, Relash. yeah. Coming in. Relax. Boom. Oh, shut down. So look at my kicks. Ah. <laughs> She's floppy what angles. That stun is so sick. Dude. That reaction is so How do you jump like that from your crawling position? Oh, I see. He's he on speed under. Dude. Yeah. He just, he's he just like, walks he's away. Like, I'm drunk. <laughs> Not I'm interested. Like, <laughs> 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 These guys are on it. I also heard that they show up and basically choreograph it right on the spot and then film it immediately afterwards. That's probably why it took them two months to shoot. That makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> yep, the barrel. Here comes Does against the wall. Boom, gooch. Boom. Hey! <laughs> Come here. Oh, it's so good. Duh. How do they do that? Where's the wire? Like so, so there's a line. It's going to help him flip back. It's called the gooch. So they, they have the pick point is here. Oh, so it's pulling him that way. Yeah, I see, I see. So he's like gainering. Yeah. Oh my god, here he goes. Ah, the waterfall. So. The person taking the hit, are they the ones who's like actually dealing with giving themselves all the momentum they need? A lot of the times, yes. So I'm already kind of preloaded and I have to make it not look like I'm trying to do a move or anything like that. It just has to be full taking the reaction and performing at the same time. Whoa. Guys, watching all these Jackie Chan videos gets me very excited about next week's video, and that is the Jackie Chan Olympics. That's right, if you've been watching this channel for a little bit now, you've probably seen the other celebrity Olympics that we've done. We did Tom Cruise, we did Indiana Jones, and now... Hello, yes, this is Jackie speaking. Clint, how long have you been waiting for this? Since I signed up for martial arts in the ninth grade, guys, I am ready <laughs> to go. I'm claiming the title of Office Jackie Chan. You think you're just gonna walk in here and take it? Dude, with this skill set, absolutely. When I was when I was in ninth grade, I used to wall run every day during recess. When's the last time you called your uncle? It's been it's been a very long time. <laughs> Subscribe to find out who becomes Corridor Cruz Jackie Chan.
So this like this had a ton of praise back when it came out. This was a game changer. This reminded me that you actually have to be an actor, you have to be a performer in order to do stunts as well. It's not just being able to go out there and hit the ground or throw a punch. You have to be able to perform it. Like this director somehow gets his actors to do anything. Yep. And then this actor in particular also will do anything. Yes. They just do not give a crap about the personal safety or well-being. Or even if it's just like their public image or anything. It's like such true to the oh, art form. Oh, so man. He's taking out toes. Oh yeah, he has a knife in his back. Yeah. They do such a good job managing the crowds in this Yo. one too. Yeah, and they, they don't even they're waiting around, like they're actually doing stuff. Yeah. It gets so real when your takes get this long, everything gets real. Yes. I love that about it. Motherfuckers get tired. God, what a great shot to cut to also. <laughs> oh, <shit>. Subscribe. <laughs> Such good filmmaking yep. across the board. The reason why I love the fight the most is because there are moments where he isn't, he isn't in, in control, he isn't in power, and he's having to regain that power back and fight his way through to get to his objective. It's good to have some like, really solid basic things that like, anybody can get. Yep. And one of those is camera movement. Basically, if the protagonist is walking forwards, they're winning. If they're walking backwards, backwards they're losing. losing. But this, this scene in particular, the cinematography of it, really sells that because the camera's Moving right, oh, then we're just getting to push yeah. back oh, a little shit, bit. Oh, got pushed back a little bit. Yeah, move exactly. right a little bit more. It's super basic, like fundamental language, but when used with everything else being more sophisticated on top of it, yep. it's really powerful. So, Old Boy was remade uh, by Spike it. Lee. I don't want to. Do it's I have to? Choice. It's a really gritty fight scene, but it's almost like a little Hollywood now. Yep. So they're trying to do the whole like, hey, we haven't cut again, but. Yep. They're missing the point. Yes. They're missing the point of why the first one didn't cut. In the original Old Boy, it's a wonder because it shows you how much willpower the main character has, yes. that he will push through the pain and the desperation and the exhaustion. Because there's an intent and there's a purpose in the fight, it's okay for you to do that. A lot of the times now we just have it for ego. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, you saw that wonder? Yeah, we did it for spectacle, you know. This. There's no exhaustion. Nothing drives home the point of misunderstanding by having Josh Rowland get stabbed at the end of the fight. Yes. Because you need to get Absolutely. stabbed in the middle of the fight to show your, your willpower to get out this of it. This shit's over already, thanks bro. That's not what it's supposed to be. I need to see the internal fight. Yeah. He's, not, he's not hurt now. Look, yeah. he's totally not hurt. Look. He's like, whatever. He's like, this guy's stabbed in the back. I get stabbed in the back every Thursday. Kind of itchy. There was one critique I heard of the film that was, I thought, a very apt critique. Spike Lee was too faithful to the original to entice people who saw the original to watch Spike Lee's version. But he's also too faithful to the original to entice people who didn't watch Not the original the to watch his version. Oh, so nobody saw it. Nobody, nobody saw, it. saw it. I didn't see it. And if you guys would like to follow Guy, ask him questions, anything like that, yeah. you can follow him on Instagram. It's Guy X Da Silva. Yes, Guy X Da Silva. And of course, if you enjoyed the show, you know, please consider subscribing. And please leave a comment for any other cool fight scenes. I love finding some really obscure stuff. Please let us know in the comments below. It's a great way to know what's out there. You know what the best part about Gee was? What's dude? that? Yeah, I'm gonna start with Hi, Jake. Hey, guys. You might be wondering what I'm doing here in this episode. Well, you had a stuntman on today, right? Yes. Sir. Well, I've done my fair share of stunts. <laughs> I thought I'd pop in. Is that a reference? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like a stunt thing. What? That's not why I'm here. I'm here to tell you guys about today's sponsor, Raycon Headphones. That's right, for about half the price of other premium headphones, you can get a pair of these, and you don't have weird plastic stems hanging out of your ears, and you didn't spend way too much on them, so. They look cool, that's the first thing. Second thing, if you don't like the black and blue, guys, you can get them in different colors. There's a whole range of colors on these guys. They're also about the same quality as other premium headphones, but about half the price, mm -hmm. which is a talking point that Jake almost took from me, but I snatched it back. I did. <laughs> Nico snaps it back. <laughs> so huge thank you to them for sponsoring this video. And all you gotta do is go to buyraycon.com slash corridor crew and you'll get 15% off your purchase. Get yourself some phones, guys. Come on. Thanks, Jake. Oh my god, dude. Break this this with a roundhouse kick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't kick me. Oh. What? Just punch through it, dude. Oh!